A transformer-type robot could soon roll out at a school near you to introduce students to robotics. The Singapore University of Technology and Design is testing its Made in Singapore robot at Northland Primary School. And if all goes well, it could become part of the robotics curriculum elsewhere. Bowie Chu tells us more. This robot can go forward, sideways, and just about all sorts of ways. It's the handiwork of nine-year-old Miranda Lim and 10-year-old Avery Yap at Northland Primary School. I've learned how to program it, how to build it, how to like make it move. Our arms and legs are their, like their motors and their brain is like their circuit board. It's quite interesting the way how the motors work and how it has a brain just like us. The girls coded and assembled this robot based on technology from the Singapore University of Technology and Design. Called Smorphy, it comes in a kit and can be programmed to change its shape to take on different tasks. So reconfigurable robots are a niche class of uh, robots and a field within uh, robotics that deal with uh, shape-changing transformer robots, just like Optimus Prime and Bumblebee from the movie Transformers. Professor Mohan and his robotics team at SUTD have developed transformer robots for jobs like cleaning, pest control and marine and aircraft maintenance. Now they're piloting the education version to help advance robotics in schools and grow the talent pipeline in STEM fields of science, technology, engineering and math. We have companies like uh, Dyson, Hyundai setting up manufacturing base in Singapore uh, and they're going to very much rely on our Singapore talent. So we need more STEM educated youth coming into workforce. So that we want to use the robots designed from the lab here uh, that can inspire uh, Eng to come towards STEM and robotics. From the lab to the classroom, transformer robots create possibilities for students to apply what they learn in here in the real world context. Reconfigurable robots are typically used in situations that are difficult to navigate, like narrow spaces or one with lots of obstacles, for instance, search and rescue operations. And in the context of the school, these robots could be used to fetch lost and found items found in the nooks and crannies of the compound. At Northland, Smorphy is already inspiring students to problem solve and they're winning gold stars from the grown-ups. They're always thinking about how to better the school community and some of them tried to put Smorphy into place, for example, like an uh, automated cleaning robot to go and clean the classrooms. We see this as a platform to help our students to become critical and uh, creative thinkers, as well as to help them to be a bit more resilient and adaptable. SUTD says it is in talks with around 20 schools to use its transformer robots. The challenge now is to design the right curriculum to meet each of their needs.